Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel, I'm GKS4528, and these are your baseball highlights and news that you need to know. Today we'll be talking about knuckleballer Matt Waldron, who's starting to look like one of baseball's brightest starters coming up. While he doesn't throw overly hard, maxing out around 94, 93 on his fastball, he th he's one of the only people to have perfected the knuckleball. He throws this pitch more than any other pitch besides maybe his fastball. And hitters just look baffled by it when they see it. In his most recent outing against Miami, he went seven innings, no walks, ten strikeouts. He got 50 fantasy points. Now he's starting to look really sharp in his last four outings. What, giving up only not that many runs. I think he allowed two against Cincinnati, two against the Dodgers, and one against Atlanta. So overall, five runs in your last almost 30 innings is one run on every six innings, which is a really good ERA when you think about it. So he's he is available in almost a lot of leagues. I think it's like 5.6% of leagues. So if you need starting, you got to pick this guy up. He has been really good recently. And I think he's going to be, he could, I think he could be one of the better pitchers in baseball. It's just that no one is ready for the knuckleball when they see it. And there's no way to really practice against it because no one does it anymore. The last person to really have perfected the knuckleball was R.A. Dickey. And he won the Cy Young in 2013. And he didn't have his UCL and he just threw knuckleballs and he won the Cy Young. If Matt Waldron can recreate what R.A. Dickey did, and it looks like he might have the chance to, maybe not Cy Young caliber, but he definitely could be the type of guy that you you see him come out on the mound and you're just thinking he's probably going to be a win for whatever team he's pitching for. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been GKS4528. I hope to see you next time, and I am so thankful for all the support I've gotten since coming back and posting three to four times a day. It really means a lot. Thank you all. Adios.